हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार जय हिंद साथियों दिस इज चंदन कुमार राणा वेलकम यू ऑल इन विजडम आइलैंड क्लासेस इन एसोसिएशन विद नाजरेत स्कूल चतरा विल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ क्लास 8 एंड द वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर फॉर क्लास 8 सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वन कैन फाइंड आउट द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी टू डिजिट और थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स बिफोर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स how one can find out the square of any number we have already deal with perfect square that is what we have already learned in the class now we are moving ahead with new concept that how one can find out the square of any two digit number or three digit number using two different methods here the first method is column method and the second method is diagonal method so dear my students so my dear students let us see how one can find out the square of any numbers by column method so first of all we are going to learn column method column method so how one can find out the square of any two digit number suppose we have to find out the square of 36 we have to find out the square of 36 so how will you find out using column method well we will draw three column and then we will use the formula a square 2ab b square we already know about this we know it a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab that is what we are going to apply here so which one is a and which one is b so dear students here we will consider 3 as a and b as 6 will so if you will find out the square of a and square of b and later on if you will find out 2ab that is 2 into 3 into 6 and then further we will proceed with the method and then we will find out the answer of 36 that what will be the square of 36 well my dear students so what will we do here first of all here we have to write down a square here a is 3 so we can write 3 square okay now in the same way here it is 2ab so 2 into a is how much 3 b is how much 6 well now b square in place of b we have 6 so we can write 6 square well my dear students can you write 9 can you write 2 3 is 6 6 is 36 well now can you write 36 of course yes we can write now dear students how will you add these numbers in order to obtain the square of 36 so here you need to pay attention let you all focus here what we have to do here first of all we will take the unit digit of the extreme part of the given column that is we will consider the unit part of the b square what is the unit part here of course it is 6 so we will write down 6 now what is left here here 3 is left so what will we do we will carry it to 36 we will add it with 36 what will you get 36 plus 3 you will get 39 now once again we will take the unit part so here it is 9 now once again 3 is left here so we will take this 3 with 9 and then we will add it with 9 what you what will you get it 9 plus 3 you will get 12 so finally we will write 12 so 1 2 9 6 6 is the answer or you can say is the square of 36 will my dear students now we are going to move ahead next is how one can find out the square of any number using diagonal method so let you all focus how one can find out the square of any number using diagonal method so let us see what is diagonal method so in diagonal method we will use almost same concept but there will be slight different in the graph so let you all focus here how we will draw since we have to find out the square of any two digit number if there will be three digit number then we will take the tables of 3 by 3 matrix or if we have to find out the square of two digit number then we will take the matrix of 2 so here if we have to find out the square of 36 so how many digits are there two digits so we will take the matrix of 2 by 2 we will take the matrix of 2 by 2 yes we have taken now now what will you do how will you find out the square of 36 so we will write 36 in 
horizontal as well as vertical. Can we write like this? Of course, we can write. It is the method through which we can find out the square. Well, my dear students, let you focus here. Now, what will be the next step? Firstly, we will write it once as a vertical and then later on we will write it as a horizontal. Now, what will you do? Now, we will multiply. We will multiply 3 into 3, you will get 9. But here we will take 0, 9. It is because whenever we are dealing with the square, we always used to take it in pair. Well, my dear students. So, before multiplying, let you all join all the diagonals. It is because this is the diagonal method. So, it is important to understand or it is important to draw the diagonals. Well, my dear students. So, if you will multiply 3 into 3, you will get 0, 9. So, how will you write? 0, 9. Well, my dear students, now 3 into 6, how much? 18. So, how will you write? 1, 8. Well, once again, we will multiply 6 into 3. What will you get? 1, 8. Now, once again, we will multiply 6 into 6. You will get 36. 36. Now, what we have to do? Next is, we will add each elements of particular diagonals. Suppose, Below this diagonal, what is the number? 6. So, we will take 6. Well, now, in between these two diagonals, we have 8, 3, 8. So, what will we do? Once again, we will add these three numbers. So, what will you get? 8, 3, 11, 11, 8, 19. So, we will take the unit digit. That is 9. What is left? 1. What will you do? 9 plus 1, 10 plus 1, 11. And in hand, it was 1. So, total 12. Once again, we will write. 2. Now, what is left in hand? 1. So, 0 plus 1, how much? 1. Therefore, the square of 36 is how much? 1, 2, 9, 6. Well, my dear students, this is the method of finding the square of any two-digit number using column method as well as diagonal method. Hope you all have understood it and if you think that it is fruitful for you all, Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Mandamatram.